hey guys so in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to color a digital portrait on sketchbook now in this video i'm not gonna be going into detail about each part um, of a portrait like skin hair eyelashes eyebrows but i do have a lot of tutorials on such topics and i've created a playlist so before you move ahead with this tutorial just go ahead and watch that playlist and videos on that playlist and that should appear somewhere on the screen just click onto that card so this tutorial is more about the process and the steps that i take in the process in creating the digital portrait on sketchbook so without any further ado let's just jump right in okay guys so to start off with as you guys can see i have this basic sketch ready with me now you have to make sure that the basic sketch that you have or the lines on the basic sketch are not too uh, messed up because we are going to be going over those lines as you guys can see i did one eye with the colorless brush and basically what I'm doing is I'm just going over these sketch lines and uh, I am creating a base for the whole digital portrait. So I'm kind of shading um, the whole thing by just using the colorless brush as you guys can see that I'm doing right here. So I do have a video on how these brushes work, how these colorless brushes or blending brushes on sketchbook work. So do check that video out. That is really helpful. That is just going to tell you how these brushes actually work and how you can actually go ahead and shade or create a base at least for your whole painting. So that's what I'm doing here. So here I am using the desktop version of sketchbook, but I later switched to the ipad version of it or the tablet version of it but it doesn't really matter because tools are the same so as you guys can see i am creating these shadows now these shadows are gonna help us in the process um and it is gonna make the whole process a lot easier and adding the shadows and highlight part of the process a lot easier because we already have the base ready now i am doing it obviously onto the layer where i have these sketch lines now the other thing is the construction of the face or the whole the whole portrait i actually have a video on that as well and for beginners and if you're a beginner and you don't know how to construct a face and i do have a video on that as well and how you can actually uh, take help from tracing and not actually trace the whole thing but you can actually get the guidelines at least for the portrait and you'll know if you watch the video so yeah that's what i'm doing here and yeah just do that just go ahead and shade um everything first with just the colorless brush also when you're doing so keeping keep in mind the light source for the whole painting keep that in mind and just start shading as i am doing i really love using colorless brush i really love that i just hope procreate had it um but it's fine you know that is why i love using sketchbook a lot because i love these brushes and uh, i do not really like the blending brushes it has because it is just as same as procreate pro as procreate has and i'm i'm not saying those are bad or anything it's just that i love uh this brush because it is just like the blending tool or the blend tool that we use in real life or in traditional art so that is why i really love this tool so just go ahead and shade everything as i'm doing i'm just gonna fast forward it and i'm just gonna be back with everything done now as you guys can see right here i am done with shading the whole basic sketch lines also make sure to create the sketch lines in the color that you want to really add in the whole portrait painting i hope that makes sense so right here i had these sketch lines nicely blended and i have here imported a screenshot from the color palette that i had that i have on procreate and i will link it down in the description as well so that you guys can use it as well so if you haven't watched my video on skin shading on sketchbook then you should definitely go ahead and watch that as well because i actually really go into detail about how i actually shade skin on sketchbook and how i go about using these colors so i'm just gonna uh, quickly give you a basic summary i have um four colors from one undertone and four colors from another undertone which is pink and i actually believe in incorporating 
these different undertones in one portrait painting because our skin has actually different undertones so just to avoid making your portrait look grayish use or add some of the pink in the skin as well now, as you guys can see i'm starting off with shading a solid base color i'm just going to fill the color basic solid color on the face the hair and the top as you guys can see it already looks so good so what you basically have to do is to just go ahead and start shading these parts and i have locked the layer where i have the skin part of it and i am starting to shade over it and the base that we created is going to make the whole process a lot easier and the whole shading process a lot easier because we already have a shaded base so now we know where we have to shade and where we have to put highlights i hope that makes sense and you don't really have to go ahead and add a lot of shadows or a lot of highlights because the base actually looks good already so that's what i am doing here also again i'm not gonna go into detail about why i put that color how i do that because i already have a video on that i have a video on eyebrows i have a video on eyelashes as i told you so yeah just go ahead and check those out and just start shading the skin the hair and and the clothes that you have on your painting and also while you're shading i'm just going to give you some tips on shading as well um just make sure to have some sharp details and some soft details now what do i mean by that is sharp details mean when you do not blend a particular shadow or a highlight and you keep it that way you keep it the edges harsh looking and soft details obviously means to blend out the color so just keep a good balance between them because we don't want our portrait to look too blurry and to smoothen out it doesn't really look good keep that in mind and also do not blur or blend every uh, sketch line out in the initial stage i forgot to tell you that as well as you guys can see i still have some sketch lines there on the portrait because i did not actually go ahead and made them disappear completely i actually went over them and kind of used the shadow left on the bristles of the brush and shaded with that um color i hope that makes sense i hope that this is not confusing at all and now as you guys can see i skipped the whole part because i don't want to make this video um an hour long and this video is just about the process and as you guys can see i went ahead and shaded the whole face and eyes and everything and hair everything i have every tutorial on sketchbook and i actually created a playlist and you can go ahead and check that playlist out and you'll know how i do that so that is the reason why i'm not going into detail and yeah so here i have the shaded part it looks so good and and it did not take a long time to shade this because we already had um the shaded base part and that that part is amazing that actually helped me a lot and that is why i love shading and creating portrait sometimes on sketchbook as well so um as you guys can see i'm also adding some highlights on the hair of the portrait and i'm just doing the regular stuff that i do to the skin the highlighting part the um, shadow part and i created a new layer again and i changed the layer mode to multiply as you guys can see right here just to add more depth to the portrait and just to add some shadows that look more darker than the other now i created a new layer again and i have changed the layer mode to overlay now the reason why i am doing that as i as you guys can see i'm picking up this yellow color and i'm just going to go ahead and paint this color over the whole portrait now the reason why i'm doing this is because i just want to make the whole portrait pop out a little bit because um it was looking too grayish i don't know it was looking too grayish for me so whenever that happens you can just go ahead and create a layer and change the layer mode to overlay and put your favorite color that you think is gonna just make the whole portrait pop out a bit and then just reduce the opacity and once i'm done with that what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna erase the access now you can use overlay or you can use soft light they both are great again i have a video on layer modes blend modes so do check that video out that video is 
gonna tell you what layer mode does what now what i'm doing is i'm just erasing the yellow part where i do not want that at all as you guys can see i am removing that yellow part from her top and from her lips and a little bit from her eyebrows as well i hope that is making sense you guys and that is basically it you guys that is the whole process of me painting a portrait on sketchbook and i really hope you guys found some useful tips from this tutorial and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i post every monday and friday and if you do create something out of my tutorials then tag me on instagram and i will link it down in the description as well other than that i will see you guys the next time